today is just one of those days I'm going to unbox this awesome gift that Silver Mine Motors has uh, sent to me after I purchased it from them. They took care of me. I'm super excited because they have awesome products and you really just have to go and check them out because they're just they're they take care of you they make sure that everything is on point I even I think they even I think they even hooked me up with a sticker let's see here yeah they hooked me up with a silver mine motor sticker I'm super excited so let's get right into this unboxing let's see what we got here all right so Willwood box sent from silver mine motors Ooh, what is this all right Woo! I love stickers. I don't know about you guys, but I love stickers. And this one's probably going to go up on that fridge over there. Wait, focus. Give me that focus. All right. So, one caliper. Uh, that looks so good. So, they come in two colors, gray or red. I, th I don't think they have the black anymore. Um, so, this one's the gray one. Okay, and then let's see what else is in the box here. Ooh, what is this? Uh, whoa, 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 yes, that is so sick. Check this shirt out. Oh my gosh, this thing is awesome. I can't wait to get this on. Hopefully, it's large. What size is the large? Yeah, they got me a large. Sweet. All right. Some more stickers. Yes, sir. You know I'll be putting that on my car. What else? So it looks like we got all the calipers here. I got four of them. Two on each side. So one I can have a hydro set on. Mounting bracket. Woo! This is fancy stuff here. Yes, sir. Brake lines. You got the pads. You got another caliper. I don't even know. I'm throwing it down here. And then uh, I'll get this opened up in a minute here. But for now, I think we're going to call it a opening. All right. So I got all my stuff here. I'm really excited to get started on all this. I am tired of looking at these drum brakes. They've been on there for centuries. Actually, these have not been changed out and there's been no brakes since like, this dude parked the car in back in like 80, 82, 83, something like that. So here's my setup right now. I know it's kind of dark in here. Let's, let's open up the garage. Let's open it up. All right, let's get some light in here. So I'm going to get started on all this stuff here and show you guys exactly how to install it. It should be pretty easy. It's not a complicated system. Anybody with any type of a couple of tools and maybe a little bit of knowledge can do this. I'm not personally a mechanic myself, but I have done a lot of studying and researching and I just started turning a wrench. So that's all it takes sometimes, guys. It's not that hard. So you want to make sure that you're uh, just just get right into it. Start getting some tools and start going after it. It should be a pretty easy kit setup. So yeah, let's get right into it. I just it. want to take off this ugly ass looking drum. Okay. Next thing you're, you're going to do is you're going to take off the top spring. Okay. All right, now that the top spring is off, you can then take off these little springs on the side. Give them a twist. That should come shooting out. And this guy over here, there's two of them. You'll see the grooves. So, take these right off here. There's one. So, what's next is you have to unhook the e-brake. I have a little pin that goes in. And then uh, what you'll do is you'll take the take the pin out and 
there'll be a nice little clip that holds this into place. And you gotta pop that out and then this line should come out. I also have to disconnect one more thing. And there's a clip that holds this into place on the back side in that little slot right there. You're gonna take that clip out, unhook your brake line. Next, there's gonna be four bolts, okay? So there's gonna be a bolt right here, a bolt right here, and a bolt on that op on the opposite side. Now, for those bolts, it's gonna be a size 14, and they're going to, they might be hard to break. So let's see if we can get this going here. Hit this plate so it can break it free. Your next tool is going to be a cutoff wheel. It's kind of difficult because you can't get all the way into it or else you're going to start cutting on the outer stub axle. Um, so you kind of got to go at an angle. My main camera died, so it's going to go be charging right now. But uh, it took a little bit of work. I took the cutoff wheel, cut it on this half on the other half and then what I did is I put two of the bolts back in and then I worked the metal back and forth until it finally came loose. Next you're going to use a grinder. Uh, the grinder is going to help shave down the outer edges of the stub axle here. Grind off about one millimeter or so uh, around the outer stub axle. When we get together she says let's make this open relationships are better when you leave should we, uh, it looks good. Should we run a count on this video of how many uh, times it takes? <laughs> time number five. Here we go. I gotta, I gotta explain in the yeah. video. Saucy, dude. Uh, what we have to do is we have to take it back off and then we gotta start putting the brackets on. So you wanna take the long bolts uh, so we can put them in here, okay? All right, what we're gonna do is there's gonna be, well, this only has three holes, which is gonna, that's what the bracket comes with. We're gonna start these bolts in first because they're kind of hard to get in behind that stub axle. I'm gonna put these guys in and crank them down. Maybe. That's a bit, that's a big <laughs> we're gonna bolt. use a 17 millimeter wrench, okay? So that'll, uh, that'll get these bolts all tightened up and that'll get that shit ready to go. So when the bracket's on, you want to put the rotor back on, and then you need to make sure that this is clean. So use brake cleaner and clean the rotor, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tack this lug nut in here just to keep that rotor up against as far as we need to go. Two brackets on the back. Now, the smaller caliper, this is the, uh, so the smaller caliper is gonna go in the front and the bigger one, which has that spacing, is gonna go in the back. And so, we're gonna put on some brake lubricant. And just get it up nice and, nice and lubricated in there. I know deep down that you jealous of this awesome music I made Got that jump man on my sneakers Kicking through your speakers Say I ain't the best man You must be high on that river And uh, we're just going to set them right in Just like so They should slot right in too Boom This one These pins it should go through every hole there, okay? I'm probably gonna get some pliers for that. Man, I knew this thing would happen. I ain't stressing, I ain't worried about it. I've been on a mission, I've been repping. Now you heard about it. People always talking, they be talking, never know. One of the last. Uh, a couple things that we have to do here is we have to make sure we get our fittings for the brake lines in. Uh, that's going to be the next thing, so we're going to come over here to our handy dandy 
brake lines and our fittings that will go into the back of the caliper. So from there what we're going to do is we're going to uh, unstick this little sticker right here. I'm going to stick these fittings in. Actually we're going to sit, stick one of them in for now because the other one I have to do another video on the hydro setup. So when that all comes to fruition I'll do another video on how I do the hydro. But for now we're just going to get these awesome uh, brake lines and fittings set up so we can screw it all in. All right guys, so I'm gonna get this fitting in. Probably a nice little. Yeah, that's about it right there. Tight. It's got some thread sealer on there and then uh, let's get these put in. These are also your spacers that they come with. They come with spacers so you can get the caliper identically aligned, uh, perfect, perfectly aligned on the rotor. So let's get rolling with that. Now that we right here, we're still in this fight, you better know, under the lights here. We'll be alright, we'll be alright. It's always like round and round we go. Round and round we go, round and round we go. Alright guys, so I got the spacers in. So on the back side you can see this you have these bolts here and here that go into the bracket, and then you see these spacers in between to line up the calipers and make sure this thing is uh, centered. And then there's a bolt on the back side here and a bolt on the other back side here with spacers as well. Next, what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take this guy, uh, this, brake, this brake line, unhook it from here, and then we're gonna just attach it to the back side, and uh, that should be the kit. Everything fits, looks good. Willwood through Silvermine Motors. Go check them out. I'm gonna put a link in the description below of Silvermine Motors. They got a really sweet dual caliper brake set up uh, here for the S30 Datsun 240Z. As you can see, my car is a shit show. Shout out to Nick here uh, with the EK Sinbad channel on YouTube. Go check him out. He's got some awesome shit coming your way. Uh, he does a lot of car stuff too. I'm super happy and grateful that Nick came over to hang out with me tonight so he can just film and sit back and out he fell on a chair I, earlier, but I fell hard. <laughs> so also, it's twenty degrees. So. It is very cold in my garage. It's my cold heater when you have to do this alone. It's right. And I I'm, I'm wearing a t shirt right now. I'm wearing Silvermine Motors t shirt by the way. So this dual caliper brake setup is uh Silvermine Motors. Go check them out. It's a super easy kit. I'm not that uh, mechanically inclined I mean I'm a little bit I mean I did I did put that thing in the car but and that thing on that thing that's in the car yeah the, the turbo yeah the turbo right right there so pretty easy kit to install I mean any, any beginner can do it it's a very simple cut and dry a uh, little bit of grinding and you have to cut off the hardest part was cutting off that shield for those um, for those brakes in the back get a grinder get a cutoff wheel and you can do this super simple. So stay tuned for more uh, videos. I got a lot of stuff that's gonna happen with the Z this year. I got a bunch of cool stuff that's gonna go happen. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna videotape all that. Thank you to Silvermine Motors again. I can't thank you guys enough. Your brake kit is dope. I'm gonna do a hydro kit for it. So make sure you guys subscribe. Go check out his channel. Make sure you subscribe. Link below. Link, link in the description <laughs> below. Yeah, I'm not going to put it there. I'm not going to be that nice of a guy. Hey, I did it for you last <laughs> week. <laughs> yeah, we'll do I it for him. We'll do it for him. <laughs> All right, so go check it out. Go to subscribe. Go do what you guys got to do. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to comment. All your S30 brake kit set up. They do a fantastic job on the kit, so it's super easy for y'all to install. Also... Don't forget to hit that bell so we know you guys are watching, so we know we uh, have something coming out. We can see how you guys enjoy it. Hell yeah. Hit that bell. Stay tuned for more videos coming your way. Zach Sanders with the Dots and Ski Z channel. And 
Nick with EK Sinbad. EK Sinbad on the loose. We'll see you guys next week. Peace. I've been